So in the early 20th century, early 1900s, uh, the quantum mechanical model replaced the Bohr model. This was revolutionary. Um, because the electron is really small, but it's a particle, right? And so we expect it to behave like a particle. But it turns out that it also behaves like a wave. And light is a wave, but it can behave like a particle. And so what happens is when you get down to the very, very small things like electrons, the, the regular laws of physics don't apply. And that's disturbing, but it is what it is. So instead of having these nice friendly orbits that we can kind of understand, um, we have orbitals. So in some sense, they're like the orbits, but mostly not at all. So quantum mechanical orbitals are different than orbits. They are really probability maps that show a statistical distribution where the electron is likely to be found. So it's, a, it's like a region of probability. Well, probably the electron's in there somewhere. So if we think about baseballs and electrons, a baseball is a regular sized object. We can see it. So the pitcher throws the baseball. You can calculate the trajectory. You can figure out where it's going to go. If you put baseballs in a pitching machine that pitches them exactly the same way, they go to the same spot every time. Very predictable. We understand that. If you were to pitch electrons, they would not go to the same spot every time. They would go to different spots because they don't obey the regular laws of physics. So instead of going to the same spot every time, they would go to different places. So instead of being able to say, well, this is where the electron is, we can just give um, a region where it's probably going to be. So if you threw the electron, if you pitched an electron in the same exact way, 20% of the time, it would land within this smaller circle 40% within this larger circle, 70% within this circle. But sometimes the electron will hit this guy between the eyes. It could hit the, hit the batter. It could hit over here. It could just, you know, all over the place. So you have a, a probability map, a bit like um, a multiple exposure photograph, where you take a picture. OK, there's the electron. You take another one a minute later or something. And you'll get, you'll find out that most of the time the electron's around here, but occasionally it's over there. Electrons and photons exhibit wave particle duality, meaning they behave like waves and they behave like particles at the same time. We go much more into the details of, of quantum mechanics in Chem 1A, but at that level, we're still just scratching the surface. But this is like we're looking at the surface. OK, so understanding the difference between orbits and orbitals. An orbit is a circular path that shows the electron's motion around the nucleus, like planets around the sun. We, we can understand that. It's predictable. An orbital describes this area where it is likely that you would find the electron. But it's completely unpredictable. You can't say, well, the electron's going to be over here. You can just say it's within this big volume, but you can't say where it's going to be. It bothers me. 